last video, I, I went really quick and we set up a new master layout at the bottom of our layout book in our navigator. Uh, and I was just explaining this is the area that we're going to use to draw with. Um, I can also just move this down if I wanted to to the bottom corner just so we don't end up, end up clicking the wrong thing. But we're just going to start with this area here. So I'm going to delete everything else that I've drawn on the page. And I'm just going to right now use a fill, use 25%, use a color 50 just so it's yellow, uh, just so it's going to make everything else clear. I'm going to make the background also transparent. And I'm going to delete all these other red lines. So this is the area that we're going to focus on this video. We're going to use this area as the most important area of our title block. And we're going to start to, to draw here. Now it's not completely accurate anyway. So let's start using lines and using accurate measurements in order to represent this. So let's grab this line. I'm going to take this a bit slower this time. I'm going to start by using pen 1 and then I'll start to change this later. So just like if I was doing this in a very technical um, hand drafted method, I'm going to first start with construction lines. Lines that I'm going to delete but just to be able to set this out. So we don't necessarily need to draw this way with ARCHICAD, there's other methods, but I just want to make it a little bit straightforward, a little bit plain. So the first thing I want to do is, I'm going to guess, I'm going to hope that I can make a title block that's 50 millimeters high. Why? Because I want to try to not use up too much of my height. So let's start with 50, and if, if I'm wrong, we can always adjust that later. So in order to make this line straight and to start this in the right place, I'm going to hover over until I hit my bottom line, you see that my cursor changes from across to a, a three angled hairline. Now if I move it up, I'm drawing a straight line, you see that we've got a, a guideline here, blue, and when I hover over this blue line it sort of snaps to it. And then even if I move my mouse a little bit, it sort of stays on that blue line. Now guidelines are really good but they're not always reliable. So once we get relatively straight, what I'm also going to do is hold shift. And when I hold shift, you see that that locks me into the line. So I can actually move my mouse left or right as much as I want, but it's always going to keep it straight. Now I want to make this line 50 millimeters long. So we see that if I was to move up, I could actually move my mouse up to a point where it says 50. Now the problem with this is it says 50, but if I was actually just to click, it would be 49 point something or 50 point something. It wouldn't be 50 exactly. We always want to work to an exact measurement. So I'm not going to rely on just my ability to move my mouse really carefully. I'm going to type in a distance. So I'm going to go D for distance. While I'm holding shift, press D. Now I can let go of D and let go of shift. I'm going to type in a value, five, zero. You can see that I could move my mouse around. Nothing's going to happen. I'm going to press enter. And now I've got a line that's 50 millimeters long. Now it's currently in my chained line. I really didn't want to be doing that. I wanted to be in my single line. I'm just going to do that again. Hold shift, press R, type in 50, press enter or return. And that's going to make sure that my line is perfectly 50 high. Now this fill that I had was obviously too high because I was just guessing. I just drew it really roughly before. I didn't, um, I didn't draw it accurately. So let's reduce that now. So if I want to edit a fill or ed edit anything, I start by clicking on it. In this case, I'm going to click on the edge. I currently have this option here, this magnet, which is called quick selection, which means I could actually click anywhere on the fill and it would select it. If I didn't have my quick selection magnet on, clicking anywhere wouldn't work. So therefore clicking an edge or clicking a corner would be required. <laughs> Let's turn that back on for now. Now, if I click the corner, I'll get a, a toolbar that comes up. If I click an edge, I'll get a, a different toolbar that comes up. So I need to understand what I'm trying to do. My intention at the moment is to use this tool here. This is called the offset edge tool. And this means that I'm offsetting this edge in a, a parallel orientation. So that this allows me to reduce the height of my fill and therefore I can constrain or strain the line to line up with that vertical line that I did before. And we see that this fill therefore means it's now exactly 50 millimeters high. 
Let's do this in the other orientation again. What's this line? That's just a guideline or a construction line. I'm going to get rid of it when I'm finished. Again, there's other ways to do this in ARCHICAD. I'm just trying to do this in a very, very traditional mechanical drafting method. All right, let's click on this right-hand side again. Wait till my line, sorry, my cursor changes to that three-point target. Now, if I hover over the line, we see that hits it in a perpendicular method. If I move all the way to the end, we've got 205. What, how do we work that out? That's based on a quarter of the length of the page. So I'm not going to um, change that because I, I need that to be perfect. So I'm going to be happy with this. I'll, I'll draw it anyway. Let's just move across, press R, type in 2.5, just like before. You note that I said 2. Point, sorry, I said R then, not D. Why did I say that? R and D mean the same thing in ARCHICAD. D is for distance, R is for radius. If you're not sure why I'm saying that, I'm going to go to Window, Palettes. I'm currently got a box on Chord Control Box. I'm also going to turn on one called Coordinates, and I'm going to move this down the bottom. Now, I started using ARCHICAD a very long time ago, I think version 7, and when I did this fantastic little tool called the Tracker that you can see giving me the numbers didn't exist. Where is that? That's this little guy here. Instead, we had Coordinates, and Coordinates were the way that we... Um, made sure that we were using the right dimension. And of course, there is no D here. It says A for angle and R for radius. So sometimes I'll still say R, even though when you're looking at my tracker, it says D. D and R, thankfully, still both work. So we can press D or R, and they'll both do the same thing. Now, when I zoom right in, what happens here? We can see that this line was exactly 205 from memory. Let's try that again, 205. But my total width of the page was what? 820. So if I get 820 divided by 4, what do I get? 205. So something was slightly wrong, wasn't it? My line and my fill should be identical. So if I did something wrong, that's why I draw lines accurately to make sure that I can always adjust them. I'm going to move this and we see that when we're so far in, I'm moving this and it still says 0. So the point is, when we're working in ARCHICAD, we can be working in such a massively large universe or at such a microscopic level that we can even discern between portions of millimetres. So therefore, it's always good to, to work to an exact number just so we don't end up with strange partial numbers, even with millimetres that are so small. All right, so now we've just ensured that this box is a good size. Now we're going to look at how we can divide this up. We could divide this up using lines, we could divide this up using a, a fill, and of course we could even add an outline to this fill. I, I really like a fill tool. As much as possible I would use a fill tool rather than lines because it's easier to edit. Um, it can just be a little bit difficult with what we're trying to do at the moment. So I'm going to keep this on now and I'm going to have an outline on this fill but we're just going to use lines in the middle to divide it at the moment. Now, when we see that I hover over this fill, it breaks it in half. So I have a guideline to show me what half is. Now, what is half of 205? It says it's 103. Of course, we know it's 102.5, but ARCHICAD is set up so it's only reading to the millimeter, not to the partial millimeter. I could change that if I wanted to, but that's a bit crazy. I'm not going to do that. Uh, what do I want to be in this quadrant? If I go back to some of my other older title blocks, we see that I want to have my um, project information or my client information, and I want to have some of my information. Um, I've recently just been working on a, a new logo, so I'm going to import a new logo. Now, this logo was done as drawn information pasted into the template, the title block. Now, I don't want to do that in this case. What I want to do instead is have a referenced drawing. So I'm going to go to my, back to my um, master, master title block, and I'm going to go to my worksheets. And here, if I click on this one, we see that I've imported some, again, uh, vector information. 
but I've put it into my worksheet. I'm going to save this as a saved view in my view map. Uh, where am I going to put this? I'm going to make a new folder called worksheets. And I want it to sit at the bottom. Let's stick it here for now. And then I'm going to import that into my master. How do I do that? I go to my layout. I go back to my... I haven't finished it, have I? Save current view as. I'm saving it. It doesn't really matter about layer combination, but we'll just leave it as it is. Scale 1 to 1. Go to my master in my layout book go to my view maps and then drag and drop this onto. Now the point of this is bring it in as a reference drawing. So therefore if I was to change anything in the reference drawing it would update on the title block. So that's better than repeating information, it just means it's always able to be updated independently. Now I'm going to have to be very clever with the way that I do this. I'm going to reduce this box. What am I doing? Just like before with the fill, I'm clicking on the bounding box of the view, click on the edge, offset edge, move it down until it lines up. Now this is uh, one that I've only just created, so when I bring it in we see that it's not exactly the right size, that's fine at the moment, I'm just going to leave it here and then I can play with it later. Uh, what else did we have? We go back to this one here, and I've got my client information. I'm just going to, at the moment, just copy this, and then I'm ex going to explain it a bit later. But just because I don't want to start with nothing, I want to explain what I'm doing. Uh, it's best if we just use a bit of a reference at first. Why is it so small? Because I just imported it from an A3 drawing. So I'm going to scale it up, edit, reshape, scale, or resize. And in this case, I want to make 200%, so two, two times bigger. And so we see that it not only fits, but it fits with some room. So I could potentially even reduce this down from 50 mil to 40 mil. I'm going to leave it like it is at the moment. Now, this is a bit of a reference. I don't want to necessarily use it like this. Let's move it up here. Let's check the scale of the text. This is 4. What I would recommend to you is that the smallest text we want to use on a um, A3 drawing is probably two millimeters. We could we could go down to one and a half but two millimeters would be good. So therefore for something like a title block we probably want to make it a bit bigger. So we want to make this five. So if I make all this text here five, let's select it like this, we see it's actually going to get bigger and messier, so that's why we need to resize it on the page. So what am I going to do first? I'm sort of using ArchiCAD here as a design tool. I'm not, I don't have all the answers right in front of me, so I'm going to start to arrange this and edit this to make it work. Now I'm going to use a similar layout to what I've got because I, I like it. I've spent a bit of time on it, making it as clean and crisp as possible, but obviously there's some issues that I'm going to have to fix. Uh, to make it work nicely. So I've imported some of this information. This is the information I'm going to try to fit in. Of course there's lots of other information that I might want to put into my title block. We're going to look at that later. Um, I might just grab some of this stuff, grab some of my details here. Let's just copy this, paste that one as well so we can see everything else that we're trying to fit in. And then the next video we're going to start to look at how to resize and, and adjust and add some more lines to make this work. But this is the, the raw information that we're working with. We're going to talk in the next video a bit more about what these are, what's the hashtag about, the auto text, and, and how we make that work for us. And how maybe we could use information like this that's just text, or if we could also turn this into auto text, and what would be the advantage of that, if any.